Hello, this is Duke Byte. Today we are going to create a few 3D icons that we will be able to use during the ProBuilder tools prototyping the game level. In the end, we will additionally set the icon in motion. The first icon symbolizing health or, let's say, a first aid kit will be created from an ordinary cube. We mark four faces from which the arms of our icon will be created. We use the Select Face Loop tool. Now we can drag a face out from the mesh with extrude faces. Remember to select individual faces. Here is the first icon. Let's change the name of the object. The second error icon is the previous one but rotates 45 degrees is the Z-axis. The third checkmark icon is made out of a cube. Extrude faces two times and then rotate the object 45 degrees is the Z-axis. For the heart icon, I use the poly shape tool. Switch to ground view and draw with point shape of the heart. When the shape is completed, drag the gizmo to add a height to the heart shape. Rotate icon 90 degrees in the X axis. Use the scaling tool to give the heart icon the right size. For the ammunition icon, I will use the cone shape. I mark the bottom faces and use extrude on them. Remember to hold shift when dragging the mouse. Select edges with selected hidden on. Insert edge loop to add more details. Change the snap value for more precise positioning of the edge. Select created faces and extrude them.
From the shape of the cylinder, I will make a coin icon. I set the cylinder settings as simple as possible. Rotate the cylinder to make it easier to work with it. If you hold the control while rotating, the object will rotate at full values. Select edges with select hidden off, and insert edge loop. Move created edge. Move the created edge to the edge of the cylinder, and extrude created faces. The last icon shows a gun. I use the shape of a cube and extrude faces a couple of times. For the barrel, I use on the face subdivide faces two times and push inside created faces with a pressed shift. For the trigger, I select the edge and add another two edges with the insert egg loop. Extrude created face. Move edge to form the proper shape of a trigger. Let's add colors to the created icons. In the project window, right click on the materials folder. From the menu choose create and then material. Name the material. In the inspectors window, set the color of the material. Set smoothness to zero. Add emissions and set a color similar to the previously selected one only this time increase intensity. This will make our icons have a gentle glow. You can drag materials on the objects in the scene or in the hierarchy window. Create a couple more colors. Let's set the icons in motion. In the project window, right click on the scripts folder. From the menu choose create and then C sharp script. Name the script and open it in your ID.
The script is quite simple and I won't translate it exactly. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below the video. In the update method in line 16, I rotate the icons around their own axis. I add a script to objects. You can do it by dragging the script to the objects, or add it using the inspector of each object. I also improve the camera position. And I try different settings. I am improving icon placement to make them look better in front of the camera. I center the pivot of objects so there is no problem with their rotation. Now I'm placing the icons again. I play with the camera settings. And now I'm placing the icons again for a better view. It's almost good. This parameter was missing. Now they rotate as they should. I add background under icons. I change the effects to improve color and contrast. It always takes me a lot of time because I do it by trial and error.
I think I am satisfied with this look. Now let's make the icons jump. I create a variable that will store the value of the y-axis of the icon at the start. In lines 19, 20, and 21 I set the icon to move up and down. But something is missing. Let's see what. Now it should be fine. It is better but. Let's change delta time to time. Great. I hope that the video was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, I invite you to the comments section below the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.